Awesome. Okay. So when I'm going to do music and movement now, though, I also am going to switch my background. Because <gasps> that's kind of fun, isn't it? Okay. Hi, everybody. How are you doing? So you're going to have to all give me thumbs up, right? And if that background's kind of overwhelming, um, maybe I can. So how many of you have been stuck in your homes? You can show me by raising your hand. How many of you are having some serious wiggle, need to get wiggles out? Because here in Colorado, everything, now there's snow. Awesome, okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Remember our first rule of stick together. So I'm gonna stand up and I want everyone to stand up with me and join me. Let's do it, ready? Let's work together. And I'll give you some time because you might need to move things. Hey kids, come here. So it feels like, This guy standing up. Okay, so sorry. This is our very first first one. So guys, will you show me some forgiveness? Awesome. I'm so grateful to you for that. I'm trying to find. I thought I did all of the work to make this good, but clearly I didn't. Okay. <laughs> so sorry. All right. Can you guys see me? Is it all right? Okay, we're gonna start off. We're gonna do some music and movement, but everybody, we need to just reach our hands up, everyone. And this is really good, because everyone's talking about how you have to like stay really far apart from people. Have you heard that? Everyone has to stay really far apart. So do this, and as you're doing these wheelbarrows, I want you guys to go down and do it like a windmill where you're touching your toes. Is everybody touching their toes? Awesome. Okay. Now, first thing we're going to do, raise your hand if everyone's been telling you that you have to wash your hands all the time. Who's heard that? Right? Well, I was thinking, it's no fair that our hands are the only ones getting the attention. I feel like our whole bodies need to have just the same attention, right? So ready, buddy, guys? This is silly, but we're gonna do it. And the reason why we know it's, when it, things are silly, sometimes I like to put on silly glasses. So if you're a little older and being silly like this isn't fun, just remember, being silly is cool even when you're a grown up. Ready? So we're gonna start. You put your hand in, you put your hand out, you put the bubble soap, on and you shake the bubbles out. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Good job! Who feels really weird? Me too. Okay, let's do it together. Ready? Everyone, you put your, this hand, other hand in. You put your other hand out. You put your other hand in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Woohoo! I love it. Do you see Brooks? If you've got someone next to you, you can do the best with them. Ready? So now we're going to do, don't get upset. Ready? I'm going to get kind of silly. You put your hiney in, you put your hiney out, you put your hiney in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey, you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Good job! Who else has an idea? You can show me, ready? Also, I'll do elbow. You put your elbows in, you put your elbows out. You put your elbows in. I love it, Mason. And you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey, you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Emily, 
Show me an idea. Pick a body part, go. You can do it, girl. Your head, is that what I heard, Evelyn? All right, everybody. You put your head in, you put your head out, you put your head in, and you shake it, shake it, shake it. Oh, oh my gosh. Shake it, be gentle, be safe. Nice shaking, nice shaking, Chandler. Come on. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Hot dog! Anai! I see you. Okay, ready? Now we're gonna do your feet, but just one at a time. You put your right foot in, you put your right foot out, you put your right foot in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey. You turn yourself around. That's what it's all. No, wait. We're not going to stop. We're going to put our whole self in this time. Ready? You put your whole self in. You put your whole self out. You put your whole self in and shake it all about everybody. Woo! Everybody shake it. Shake! 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 Woo! You do the hokey pokey. You turn yourself around. And that's what it's all about. Woo! All right, okay. I don't know about you. But my heart is racing. Woo! I'm old, but I can still be fun. Everybody, let's do some regulating. Ready? If you know this with me, you can help me. We're going to do something called sumo. Are you ready? Take a deep breath. Tanner, Evelyn, Anai, Shanna, Eden, all of the Aslan, you can do it. Ready? Ready, go. Breathe in and whew. Breathe in again and go whew. And this time we're gonna breathe in and you're gonna go all the way down to the bottom. Ready? Whew. Nice job. Should you do it one more time? Whew. Whew. And everyone, whew. Nice job, okay. You guys did great. Everybody gets to sit down. Everybody gets to get ready. Miss Darby stepping up. We're about to go under the sea for story time. Not story time. We're gonna read a cool book. So make sure your body's relaxed. Make sure you're giving your friends enough space. <coughs> Showing respect. Get comfy. Get cozy. Miss Darby, are you ready? I'm ready. Yep. Awesome. So how many of you have ever heard of this book? How Pout Fish in the Big, Big Dark. Can't see you. That's what I'm going to say. Have you guys heard of this book before? Yep, it's kind of a fun book. <clears throat> and so I'm just gonna go through and read it and do my best to show you the pictures. Maybe I'll show you the pictures instead of me, okay? All right, let's go. Can you all hear me? Can you raise your hand if you can hear me? <clears throat> Yay, okay. The Pout Pout Fish in the Big Big Dark. I have a 14 year old little boy who loves this book. Um, and I read it to him a whole lot of times. Um, and so he helped me pick this out to read to you guys today. <clears throat> All right. See, okay, let's see. All right. A doozy of a drowsy made Mrs. Clam yawn. Then a big current whooshed and her pearl was gone. <clears throat> Mrs. Sw Fish swam forth. Mrs. Clam, don't weep. 
I will find your pearl, and that's a promise I'll keep. <clears throat> he swooped through the water, swishing close to the sand, and he eyed every inch of the busy bottom land. <clears throat> he found a murky marble where he thought the pearl might be, and then a hidden voice whispered, it's further out to sea. So he swam a little deeper. Sorry. He swam a little deeper where the light grew dimmer as his heart flit fluttered. Mr. Fish grew grimmer. I'm fast as a sailfish. I'm strong as a shark. I'm smart as a dolphin. But I'm afraid of the dark. <clears throat> He kept on searching all along the ocean floor, through a reef, through a wreck, swimming far from the shore. <clears throat> Mr. Fish felt a pout-pout poach on his hope. And then the whisper from before said, it's down beyond the slope. So he swam a little deeper where the light grew dimmer as his heart flit fluttered, Mr. Fish grew grimmer. I'm fast as a sailfish. I'm strong as a shark. I'm smart as a dolphin, but I'm afraid of the dark. <clears throat> a whirl of wriggly worms made a search team swirl, and they helped with the hunt for the yawn gone pearl. But nothing was discovered. Mr. Fish felt despair. Then that soft voice whispered in the trench, I'll check there. <clears throat> so he swam a little deeper where the light grew dimmer. As his heart flit fluttered, Mr. Fish grew grimmer. I'm fast as a sailfish. I'm strong as a shark. I'm smart as a dolphin, but I'm afraid of the dark or I'm scared of the dark. I won't keep swimming in this heap, heap deep black. I know I made a promise, but this fish is heading back. Then a whisper now familiar whisked away his dread. You can do it, Mr. Fish, her sweet voice said. Though there wasn't any light, not the smallest slim glimmer, Mr. Fish felt braver, cheered on by Miss Shimmer. Two are faster than a sailfish. Two are stronger than a shark. Two are smarter than a dolphin. Two are bigger than the dark. So they swam down together, holding on fin to fin. And when suddenly, amazingly, light shone in. <clears throat> Mr. Fish said, yes. Miss Shimmer shouted, yay. There's Miss Clam's pearl. Hooray! Do you see it down there? <clears throat> <clears throat> they smooched Mr. Lantern, their friend that helped them with the light. And when they smiled, they, then they smiled as they swam, weaving back through the water to a happy Mrs. Clam. The whole gang gathered, feeling glorious and proud, and they swam in a circle as they sang out loud. The ocean is wide, the ocean is deep, but friends help friends. That's a promise we keep. We are bigger, yes, bigger, always big, big, bigger. Then the dark. Did you guys like that? you give me a, a, a excitement if you liked it? <laughs> Yay! Awesome. Well, we're going to choose some different books to read each time we do this. So hopefully there'll be fun ones. If you guys have ideas, feel free to put them in the comments or to let your moms and dads know. And if we have the books at our house, we can read them because we can't leave the house either, just like you guys. <laughs> So if you have ideas, let us know, okay? Okay, so now our friend Jen, who works with us at the Adoption Exchange, she's going to lead us in some yoga. Many, have any of you guys done yoga before? 
<laughs> so we'll have her get set up here. Oh, maybe you should not get it, or maybe not. I think I thought she was gonna come in to do that with us today. But you know what? That's okay because I can also <laughs> help, Miss Jen. Here's what I want you guys to do. Okay, do you see what I just did with my background? So, what time of day is it? It's night, right? All right, so. Guys, we understand that right now, everything seems topsy-turvy, upside down, inside out, and backwards upside down. Do you guys agree? Mm-hmm, right. So, do we have any ability to control what's going on outside our world? Not at all, but guess what we always have? We always have the gift of being able to control what's going on inside of our bodies. And even sometimes, I know that sometimes even our bodies start to take control, but we've, oh, there's Miss Jen. She's great. So that's just what she's gonna start off for us. So I'm gonna go on mute, but I'm gonna start to get my body really relaxed. That's why I put my setting to a dark nighttime ocean scene. Miss Jen, you can take over. Hey, everybody. Everybody can wave back. I like looking at everyone's backgrounds. Megan, that is an awesome background with the moon. Um, so welcome everybody to yoga time. My daughter is here. This is Jalen. Awesome. And so I see most everybody has some partners, but Megan and Darby and Jenny, uh, Jenny, there's your partner who's kind of fading into the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> um, but if you don't have a partner, I will give you some uh, different things to do. But we're going to do a little bit of partner work today. But we're going to start off with just breathing. So everybody take your hands. You're going to put it on your belly. And you can even be silly and show your belly to your camera. But when we inhale, our bellies go out. And then when we exhale, bellies go back in. So let's just start by taking a couple big breaths as you inhale. And just feeling your hands go back to your spine as you exhale. Yeah, cool. And then if you want to like get some space in your room, wherever you are, you can maybe get a little bit room for where your arms can open. And you can take a big breath in and let your hands go to the sky. Yeah, awesome. And then exhale, bring your hands down like a big ball. And inhale, open them up. And exhale, close them down. And let's see if we can even use our mouth. So as we inhale, big. And then as you exhale, blow out like a straw. Yeah, good job. I can see you guys all participating. Aslan up there, you got your feet going. Take a couple more breaths and blow out. Yeah, good job, Nikki. Good, one more time, big breath in. Last time, big exhale. Yeah, great job, guys. Okay, so we're going to start moving our bodies. So we're gonna do some pretend work with like animals. So you can get your silly kitty cat claws out. And if you're with your mom, you might give her a little like thanks for making me participate <laughs> and you're gonna kitty claw the floor so you're gonna come onto your hands and knees this might be hard for you guys to see i hope you can hear me but <laughs> you're gonna move your other kitties out of the way or maybe your other dogs and you're gonna just start to arch your kitty cat back to the sky just round your back as good as you can and you guys can watch jj i'm gonna come up close here and then when you inhale, you're going to turn your, your bum, your kitty cat tail to the sky. Yep, and take your chin to the sky. Yeah, great job, Megan. Megan's a good kitty cat. <laughs> so just keep inhaling, moving your spine up to the sky, or, and then exhaling. Good job. I don't know who these guys are in the corner, but they're doing a great job down here. You in the blue shirt, that's an awesome kitty cat. 
Yeah, keep going. So keep moving your spine just a few. We're gonna open the spine and just move it fast, back and forth. Good job. So now we'll do another animal pose. Raise your hand if you've seen the downward facing dog. Oh my gosh, some of you have. Nikki, you've got some, you know what a downward facing dog is. Good job, and Katie Bell, your kiddos. So yes, yeah, so you're just gonna make a mountain. You're gonna put your hands on the ground and take your dog tail to the sky. Oh, and wag your dog tail from side to side. Yeah, maybe stretch a dog leg up. Oh, and be careful if you're standing behind your dog friends. <laughs> <laughs> good and stretch your other dog leg up to the sky yeah good job JJ <laughs> good and then take a big breath in and then exhale drop your knees to the ground come back to your kitty cat pose Ooh, good job mr. Welch down there that's a good kitty cat good job take your knees off the ground go back into a dog pose yeah take your hips to the sky awesome so you can feel the backs of your legs stretching out. Good, and one more time, knees to the ground. Awesome. And then lift your knees to the sky. Good job, Aslan. Nice work. Good job, okay. And then come back down onto your knees and see if you can stand up somewhere. So you're gonna have enough space to where you're standing and we're just gonna shake. So this is an easy one. You just shake it out. You shake your body as fast as it goes. Shake your wrists. Shake your arms up to your shoulders. Shake them over your head. Yeah. Shake, 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 shake. Great job. Shake it all the way down to the ground. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake And one more time back up to the sky. Go as fast as you can. What do you see? Oh, Darby's doing so good. Nice, Brooks. <laughs> yeah. Great job. So this is really good for our immune system, guys. Keep going. Keep shaking. Shake, 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 shake. So what we're doing is we're clearing out all our organs. We're flushing the system with blood. So this helps to keep our immunity strong. Great job. Last five seconds. Five, four, keep going fast as you can. Three, fast, fast, fast. Two. Oh my gosh. Good job, Molly. Good shaking. <laughs> and one. Awesome, and then see if you can sink down really slow to the ground. Uh-oh, JJ fell down. Nice job, Jenny. Good job, guys. Okay, bring your hands back to your belly. See if we can feel the inhale expanding, the exhale going back in. Inhale through your nose, and exhale through your mouth. Two more times. Great job. Okay, so what do you think? Should we do a, should we do a strength, a balance, or a balance. a balance pose? Okay, so we're gonna do a balance pose. Everybody here okay? We're doing good there? Thumbs up, cool thumbs up. All right, so we're gonna do warrior three. So to do warrior three, you're gonna need a little bit of space. And here you go, you stand and I'll just verbalize. Okay. So what you're gonna do is stand on one foot and stretch your other foot back far. I want to turn sideways so I can see you sideways. There you go. And then this is really good. <laughs> JJ's going to try to keep her hips the same height and then stretch your hands out straight forward in front of your body. Oh, awesome. So there's three points. We're going to count them one, <laughs> two, and three with the hands. So while you're at home, See if you can practice warrior three, one person, and the other person is gonna see if they can count your three points while you stay steady. I'm gonna try to count JJ. 
Bend your, bend your Wait, stomach. Wait, hold on, can I do my other leg? Yep, there we go. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, one, two, three. Awesome, nice job, guys. Wow, you guys are really strong. Awesome. All right, make sure you try both sides. So if you've already tried both sides, do it again. Yeah, nice poses. Oh, watch out, Brooks, watch out. <laughs> oh, somebody's dad dropped in, awesome. Yeah, great job, guys. All right, you guys did awesome. Make sure you give your partners a high five. Boom, boom. And then we're gonna try a little bit of working with our partners. Um, so those of you that are at home, you can find wall space. Anything against the wall will work. So we're gonna open up our heart and lungs, these areas that are breathing, and also we have a lot of lymphatic um, uh, systems underneath the arms. So this helps to filter our white blood cells. So we're gonna take our right arm. So both partners using your right hand, and you're going to turn towards each other. And you're just gonna bend your elbows and kind of connect your elbow or your arms right at your forearms. Yeah, and then you're gonna start to walk away from each other and just press your forearms together. So that, oh, it starts to open up in your chest and your armpit and your right hand. If you're alone, you can follow me. Yeah, see how Megan's pressing on the wall? And Megan, you wanna to turn to your left and just start to open up your body, like twist away from your right arm. Yeah, towards your left, there you go. So now your right shoulder and the inside arm starts to open. Yeah, good job, and then switch with your partners. And you wanna be careful with your partner, like don't pull your mom's arm off or anything. <laughs> <laughs> and then switch and do the opposite arm. So if you have it done left arm, do your left side. And you're gonna be pressing just as much as they're pressing. So you wanna be careful that you're not throwing your sister or brother or family member to the <laughs> ground. Ah, good, great job. All right, high five your partner if you've done that side. And then you're going to take your partner's hands. And we're gonna start just palm to palm. So just start close enough to where you're palm to palm. Yeah, and you guys can use like a couch or something, Megan, it might not be able to see, but so you're gonna walk backwards with your partner, you're gonna grab wrists. So both partners will be holding on to each other's wrist. There you go, so you can see both of us have our wrists grabbed, and then we're just going to kind of walk back away from each other. Keep walking back, keep walking back. And you wanna keep your knees bent, so walk forward a little bit. And you're gonna walk your feet back. Feet underneath our knees, and we're just walking back to stretch our backs out. And again, we're gonna be careful with each other not to pull the foot. And I'm just gonna use a stool, because I'm by myself. Great idea, Megan. Mm. And you're gonna take at least three breaths here. So you can bend your knees and drop your bum towards the ground, yep. And then let your partner pull you. <laughs> yeah, where does it hurt? Is it stretching your shoulder blades anywhere yeah. else? What? It's like my bum. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, cool. And then walk in, high five your partner. <laughs> Good job, guys. I'm really impressed with you guys doing it on. You can give high fives to the screen, too. Um, okay, and let's do one that's maybe sitting on the ground for you guys to see. So we're going to sit back to back <clears throat> with crisscross applesauce. Good. You're going to take your right hand in the air, stretch it really high. Yep, you too. 
goes up. There you go. <laughs> I have to excuse my Vanna White. This is her first drop in. <laughs> um, your right hand's going to come behind you and grab your partner's knee or leg. So you can see JJ's hand is here on my knee. Yep. And Megan, you want to, um, if you can move away from the wall, you're going to be twisting. Yeah, so if you're by yourself, or you're going to sit in the middle of the room and use that right hand behind your body. Your left hand can now come in the air. Oh, that's your right hand, JJ. <laughs> left hand is going to come to your own knee, your own right knee. And you're just going to twist. Oh, and use your partner's back and their knee to help you twist. Oh, and see if you can still take those big deep breaths into your belly. It's kind of harder when we're in twisted postures. And these twisting postures are really good again for our immune system too. As you can feel, it's kind of crunching all of our organs in our belly. But take a big inhale, stretch both hands to the sky. And on an exhale, drop your hands to the ground. Good. Now take your left hand really high to the sky, stretch it high, and then twist your left hand to your partner's knee, right hand to the sky, and right hand to your knee, and just press. Try to lift your heart to the sky rather than twirl. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are all doing such a good job. Awesome stuff. Good. One more big breath into your belly. Exhale. Feel your belly button come back and kind of give all the organs in your belly a hug. Good. Turn back to the center. One more. Inhale, hands to the sky. Exhale, out through the straw in your mouth. Blow all your breath out. Great job. All right. Let's see. Come back on to. Um, all right. Let's do a strength pose. Are you guys ready for a strength pose? Give me a thumbs up. Got some thumbs up. Awesome. Aslan, you ready? There we are. Cool. Okay. So this is a, a really strong pose. You're going to. Take hands to the ground and just stretch your feet back. So find a plank or a push-up position. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and now we're going to breathe three times here. So inhale. Yep, and if you need to, you can drop your knees to the ground and still hold there. But two more breaths. Good job, Molly. Nice job, Bell residents. <laughs> Good. Okay, now drop your left knee to the ground. So we've got our right leg extended, left knees down. See if you can stretch your right hand all the way to the sky. Oh, great job. Bring your hand down to the ground. We'll switch that out. Right knee is going to anchor. See if you can lift your left hand to the sky. Oh, great job. Back down to the ground. Now comes some more strength part. You might want to do the same thing we just did, which is leaving one knee on the ground, or you might want to put your feet back into plank, and then flip over and see if you can lift right hand to the sky. Oh my gosh, good job, guys. Keep lifting your hips. Lift your hips. Good job. And right hand comes down. You can drop down to your knees if you need to. Keep the legs extended. Flip over on the right side. Left hand to the sky. Lift your hips high. Good job. Hand down to the ground. Jalen's about to die. We can only do one more. Let's see if we can help her. <laughs> okay, so last time. Stretch your legs back. Open your right hand to the sky. Maybe stretch it over your head. Reach, reach, reach. Great job, Molly. And switch it out. Right hand comes down. You got this, Jalen. One more time. <laughs> Flip over. Left hand reaches. And maybe overhead. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Down to the ground. <laughs> okay, so let's come on down to Shavasana. Is that good? Okay. So for Shavasana, 
Does anybody know? Raise your hand if you've heard that word before, Shavasana. One, two. Cool. Shavasana is my favorite. It means do nothing. So you're going to find your favorite. Actually, let's do one thing before Shavasana. Does everybody have a window close? Raise your hand if you have a window close. Okay, we're gonna take one minute and you're gonna pick your spot and go watch the snow fall for one minute and you're gonna be with your hands on your belly. So while you're watching the snow fall, I want you to count your breaths. Yeah, so if you have a window, you're just gonna look out, find the snow. Go find the snow and count your breaths. You can sit anywhere. Jay has permission to sit on top of the couch if she wants. Just be safe. <laughs> Eden, you find in a place? Nice job. I can see your face is brighter from the snow. Okay, so we're about halfway through. Keep counting your breaths. Okay, everybody come back to your screen and you can kind of hold up your number, whatever it was. Eight, Eight three. <laughs> oh, is that one, two, three, four, five, Molly? That's a very creative way of counting. I like it. We got three for Aslan. Six. Awesome. 23, right on. And you got like eight down there, Brooks, something like that over there. Cool. Whoa, Megan's got 10. All right, good job, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so sitting in front of your window, wherever you are, if we can't go outside because it's blizzarding or we just don't want to go outside, just watching nature is a really good way to tune into our senses. So for the last thing, you may want to sit back to back with your partner for Shavasana, or I think I would like to lay down. So I'm going to take a hole. You got to find a different spot. Oh, why? Yeah, a place where you and your partner have a little bit of space to just stretch out. Yeah, and if it feels okay, you can close your eyes. You can see JJ's lying on her side because that's most comfortable. So however it feels comfortable, you got a little stuffed animal. Yeah, we're just gonna keep our body as still as possible for the next few moments. And close your eyes if you can. We're gonna use our visual part of our brain. Uh, the imaginatory part. So in yoga, we call this the third eye, which is kind of right on your head between your eyebrows. So with your eyes closed, I want you to imagine that your feet are red. Imagine that your feet are red. Oh my gosh, how silly. Your feet are red. And imagine that now your calves and your thighs are orange. Your thighs, your knees are orange. Imagine seeing the color of an orange, but as your legs. And then imagine your pelvis and your lower belly are yellow, like the sun, bright yellow. And then feel moving up into your chest and your heart. See if you can imagine these are green. 
these parts of your body are green, even your arms, your fingers of your hands are green. And then imagine your throat is a deep blue color. And your head is purple, dark purple. And then you're gonna start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Maybe start to stretch out your body like you would coming out from a deep hibernation, like a bear nap. And come back sitting up in front of your screen. And just give me a thumbs up if you could see even one color. Cool. Yeah, most everybody could see some colors. That's really awesome. Well, good job, guys. You guys did an awesome job with our first yoga virtual sesh today. <laughs> did everybody have fun? <laughs> cool. Okay, I'm unmuting everybody.